today in this video, we're going to talk about the iconic trend that a lot of Hollywood women have been following lately, suiting up. Whether you see it as a power move or as an attempt to dissolve the more traditional dress codes, while redefining the concept of what it means to be masculine and feminine, we're absolutely in awe with the trend. So we're just gonna gush about some of these epic looks. First up, it all began with the fashion world, duh. The trend was birthed at a fashion catwalk, and it is a look that a lot of designers are playing around with, giving their own personal touch to the suit and tie ensemble. Fashion gurus at Louis Vuitton have definitely been experimenting with the look as we present in Exhibit A. Nicolas Gasquier and his loud and flashy ties paired up with some seriously slouchy outfits, specifically tailored to give that laid-back vibe during the Vogue runway. We've been seeing this particular look everywhere recently, and what Gasquier has done with the oversized clothes, giving them a more androgynous energy, we're absolutely in love with it. Vogue Runway spoke of the style in high praise and said that people should keep an eye out for young women dressed up in old dude clothing. A similar trend was the talk of the day during Ralph Lauren's autumn show this year. The beauty of that show was the fact Ralph's career began with him providing the outfit for Diane Keaton as she starred in Annie Hall, a character known for her use of ties as an essential part of her outfits. Maria Grazia Churi at Dior's pre-autumn show this year also took the creative decision to dress models in short sleeve shirts, plaid skirts, and jumpers and paired them with, you guessed it, ties. Swear, it gave us rebellious teenager vibes. However, this is certainly not the first time women in suits is a thing. The trend of women in ties and suits is definitely taking off around the globe. During different fashion weeks, the slouchy outfits, waistcoats, vintage scarves, foulards, and of course, ties have been spotted on practically anybody and everybody amongst the attendees. It's become one of the major street style trends, and each and every one of the looks we've had the opportunity to lay our eyes on is absolutely iconic. However, the trend of women with ties around their necks isn't a new one. Inspiring women like singer and performer Patti Smith did it back when it was actually considered to be scandalous. Same goes for Charlotte Gainsbourg, the French actress who didn't stop at ties and took it a step further by wearing bow ties. These women, of course, inspired by the OG Hollywood darling Marlene Dietrich who used to mesmerize the world with her unique style. Dietrich's look was copied by women so much that at one point she even expressed that she didn't dress for herself, the public, fashion, or even for men. The reason she dressed up, as she shared, was for the sake of the image. Damn, queen. And speaking of celebrities, women of Hollywood are in too. Lately, we have spotted so many female celebrities giving the look the admiration it deserves. The beautiful and exceptionally talented tall girls Chloe Grace Moretz was seen during the Louis Vuitton cruise show in San Diego, sporting a pair of cream trousers, paired with a dazzling floral shirt and a gray checkered tie. This Is Us actress Mandy Moore had on a very classic Tom Brown black suit and tie during the television series press event. During her appearance, the actor complimented her suit by letting her hair flow down her back, with strands tucked behind her ears, and opted for darker eye makeup with a light pink, almost natural lip. The queen of menswear, musician and actress Alana Haim, rocked a badass Louis Vuitton bomber jacket and tie, which would be the ultimate example of a classic men's tie. She paired off her look with leather trousers, making us all swoon at the sheer perfection that she is. Fifty Shades of Grey star and all-time goofball Dakota Johnson wore a velvet Saint Laurent suit with a beautiful black tie and a pair of pointy silver heels with bedazzled toes during her recent appearance on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. The actress talked about her new Netflix project Persuasion and played Mad Lib Karaoke with Jimmy while absolutely killing it with her oversized coat and pants, her gold ring with a black stone, and a shiny black ribbon around her neck. The eyes of Tammy Faye actress Jessica Chastain promoted noted her upcoming project The Forgiven while attending the Tribeca Festival in New York very recently. She made herself stand out as she had on a beautiful black halter neck Ralph Lauren dress and paired it up with a white tie. Next up, Queen Zendaya joins in on the fashion fun. We need any excuse we can get to talk about Zendaya. And while our girl has managed to dazzle many a crowd with some of the most beautiful dresses, this trend is exactly her natural vibe. She would have looked beyond amazing had she gone for the more laid-back, slouchy outfits part of the trend. But during the after party of Vanity Fair Oscars, Euphoria's Rue took a rather sharp route by wearing a black sports max suit and shiny black tie from their autumn 2022 suited and booted collection. The suit had a cinched hourglass silhouette, and to make it all the more striking, Zendaya opted for a purple collared shirt underneath. Her look was pulled together by the Bulgari diamond rings, stud earrings, and a lapel pen, as if we needed another reason to be totally obsessed with this girl. And now, men seem to be changing 
changing things up. Not sure if this is a purely coincidental or a conscious choice, but ties, an accessory which used to be an absolute necessity for men's fashion, no longer holds the same charm. Women have given wearing ties another chance and men appear to be more than grateful to be dishing them. Even the corporate world seems to be catching on, with offices no longer enforcing the use of ties as an indicator of professionalism. Financial Times declared that ties are extremely ill if not dead already. Writer for Financial Times, Mr. Robert Armstrong during the paper's Working It podcast shared that despite the fact that he owns around 80 ties and that he loves ties because they look amazing, the concept of ties definitely seems like it's over. He is going to miss them, but he can't help but point out that ties are no longer functional whether he looks around in his own office and even at highly professional workplaces like law firms and or banks. It now feels very unusual to see men sporting ties unless it's for their wedding or in any work setting conference where such a thing is expected. Up next, suits for women have never been better. The fact that women are wearing suits and ties now and men are opting out of that whole vibe kind of seems submersive and an absolutely aesthetic choice. At the same time, it also comes down to the influence of menswear, specifically suits has on what women end up wearing. The idea of wearing a suit can very easily be linked with having power. I mean, that's what each and every power play romance book and movie is based on. A suit wearing CEO, falling in love with a powerless girl he ends up saving. Whatever it may be, we just know that women's wear and children's wear buying manager at Brown's Fashion, Holly Tenser, confirms that the influence of Annie Hall and the return of the waistcoat would be the most obvious example of women being attracted towards this type of dressing. In fact, she shared that out of all the trends during the season, waistcoats are one of her absolute favorites. The idea of wearing them with nothing underneath gives a fresh and modern spin to the Annie Hall classic. The tailoring within the sphere of women's wear has seen a huge resurgence, according to Tensor. She expressed that this trend includes includes both dressing up and down. She also believes that three-piece suits are wonderful and a very versatile way of leaving your mark or making your statement. Women can each make the look their own by choosing to accessorize according to their own aesthetic. The beauty of this look is that one can literally wear any type of footwear, be it a pair of trainers, boots, or heels. She also talked about taking Bella Hadid and Kendall Jenner as inspiration for young girls who wish to pull off this look right. And lastly, the suit is definitely having a moment. Senior market editor at Netta Porter, Libby Jane Page, talked about how women have been readjusting both their work and social lives by incorporating suiting up in them. She's also definitely a fan of the Annie Hall waistcoat and believes it to be a useful and rather chic addition to the whole vibe of the suit. She also talked about how using a waistcoat instead of a blazer during summers and explained how dressing up in a waistcoat with nothing underneath might just be the easiest and coolest. Another thing that Page absolutely adores is the versatility that bandanas and scarves bring with themselves. She loves that they can be styled in a hundred different ways. Women can tie them around their necks, attach them to their handbag, or even attach them to their ponytails. Boy, do we agree. Women with their bandanas or scarves around their ponytails is the best thing ever. That's a wrap for this video. What are your thoughts on women suiting up? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.